what do you mean by the term electronics and communication engineering this might be a question that you might be asking yourself if you just got out of school or if you just got into a college and you took electronics and communication engineering but you have no idea what that actually means this might be the question that you might be asking yourself what actually is electronics and communication engineering well my name is rishi ramju and welcome to the backbench engineering community where i make engineering easy for you so let us ask ourselves that obvious question what do you actually mean by the term electronics and communication engineering well let's simplify that concept so electronics and communication engineering is made up of two parts let us split these into two parts the first part is the electronics part and the other one is the communications part so it is made up of two parts electronics and communications engineering so first let us discuss about the electronics part let us take say for example this particular device so this particular device is an electronic device it's an electronic gadget but this electronic device it has a particular circuit board inside this and on top of this particular circuit board it has a processor a ram a hard disk or a memory device to store the information a particular display system so it has got a lot of components inside this a lot of electronic components and therefore electronics engineering deals with all these electronic components as simple as that that is it is a branch of engineering that deals with electronic circuits and the devices and systems that use these particular electronic circuits as simple as that you might already be knowing what a resistor is a capacitor is an inductor is a diode is a bjt bipolar junction transistor so this particular device is actually made up of all these things but in a particular order that is they are actually designed in a particular way so that it works together to function as a particular device so if you choose to become an electronics engineer you might be able to design a particular device like this that is what you would be doing if you are an electronics engineer so that is what you mean by the term electronics engineer next let us see what you mean by the term communications engineer we are seeing a huge aggressive expansion in the field of communication now we are seeing a paradigm shift towards 5g communication the latest technology of wifi 4g lte all those so a communications engineer actually deals with the development of all these technologies all these wireless communication technologies they aim at making communication easier as simple as that a communications engineer is simply about a person who designs communication solutions like 5g 4g etc 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 that's what a communications engineer does so you might now be wondering wait th th doesn't that sound limited well no inside communications engineering you have a lot of areas where you can expand yourself signals and systems digital image processing all those things are there so you have a lot of areas where you can expand yourself to that leads to the topic what is the scope of electronics and communication engineering so first in the electronics part you can divert yourself into a lot of domains in the electronics part you can be an embedded product designer a person who actually designs products you can be an embedded product designer you can actually work in electric cars electric cars are the next thing right now you can actually get yourself into working into electric cars and now we see a paradigm shift from manual labor to electronics labor that is robots are implemented everywhere so robotics is also a potential domain that you can explore after you study electronics engineering but when you take communications engineering you have another set of potential areas where you can expand yourself to you can be a communications engineer in technologies like 5g 4g bluetooth wifi all these things you can actually make these things better you can get yourself into that and you can actually develop or make bring newer newer technologies by getting into these areas or you can work in all those hot topics like vehicle to vehicle communication v2x v2v all those things so you have a lot of potential opportunities in all these areas so thus if you take electronics and communication engineering you have a lot of areas where you can expand yourself to 
that is why we say electronics and communication engineering is the next thing because we are all seeing a paradigm shift towards electrification even your vehicles they they're seeing a paradigm shift from internal combustion engines to electric cars because right now everything is getting electrified mercedes is launching their eqc eq as all those things audi is launching their e-tron and right now even in india companies like tata they launched the nexon ev the altros ev all those things are coming it's a paradigm shift towards electronics so therefore this does is why you have a huge potential for aggressive expansion in your career if you join electronics and communication engineering so this does basically sums up what you refer to as electronics and communication engineering so if you found this video informative do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button i am an electronics and communication engineer i right now work as an embedded product designer but i will be discussing about a lot of topics regarding electronics and communication engineering so that i can make all those topics easy for you so i hope you guys found this video informative this playlist is what i refer to as pep talk i'll be talking about a lot of common general things under this playlist so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you